host to like really like party. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm on the last boss. Getting everything set up here. Okay, here we go. All right. We're jumping into it. We are jumping into it. Very tall elevator. That's okay, man. You want more Gex? Just tune in. Yeah, it's all on my stream, though. Like, on my backlog. Uh, and it'll be on YouTube as well. I didn't play all of the game, and I did a little bit of grinding off... Uh, I did a little bit of grinding off uh, stream. Just to get the rest of the uh, remotes that I needed. Yeah, got the VODs. And eventually I'll have the VODs put up on my YouTube. Uh, you know, five years from now. I'm kidding. Sooner than that, but... Uh, as soon as I get some free time. How's it going, though, Toast? It's been a little bit. Four years. Yeah, four years from now. Not quite five. Trying to make a movement system that would be fun for a Gex 4. Oh, good timing then. That's pretty cool. I, you know, I was saying the other day how I actually really enjoy the way Gex moves. Like his movement is snappy. It's not like it's 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 easy to use. You know, the worst thing about this game is the camera, but that's you know every. 3D platformer in the 90s. I'm good camera's the hardest part. Yeah. I bet. I've thought about playing around in Unity before, but I don't have the patience for that. Can I get some... Can I get some health up in here? Yo, that's kind of creepy. So, this is where they decided to change the code. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it is easy to get it wrong because, like, you don't know whether you should allow your ca your camera to clip through geometry so it doesn't bump off of things, or should you let it bump off of things? But if you let it bump off of things, it's going to make it difficult to control and it's going to make it weird and wonky. Like, it, like it's, a, it's a fine line you really got to straddle. Crap. At least I didn't get hurt.
personally, I kind of like it when cameras can actually, like, clip through geometry and, like, like basically so that it, so they don't get obstructed by, uh, walls. It's easier to maneuver cameras that way, and there's less, like, less limitations in the camera's movement. Res taunts you in this room. That would be fun. Great start. Awesome start. the streamlined process of speedrunners doing this boss. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the streamlined version? Very seldom will you get streamlined speedrunning strats from me. I am casual through and through. stand there until the barrage is over for one. Oh, wow, that's cool. My tail's gonna kick your butt. Drop a big TV on him. It's very on brand for Gex. So that's not what you're supposed to be. Not quite as exciting, though. Well, thank you. <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, I got, I, f I finally made it to Twitch Affiliate, so people can subscribe to me using, like, t Twitch Prime subs or regular subscriptions, uh, and uh, can, like, pledge bits and donate and such now, like, on an official capacity. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. It's been like seven months since I started streaming, so My tail's gonna kick your butt. exploded to triangles effect. Yeah, those are that's a cool effect. I like that. Um, I feel like there's some like, you know, like the there's been a resurgence of like, of like people making modern games, but in the style of like a, a PS1 game, much with like the low polygon count and like the the texture warping effect. Um, I'm sure someone, some, one of those developers, uh, mas has mastered her way to, like, make the triangle explosion. Or maybe not mastered, but, like, have, have figured out a way to do that. You're a low-poly modeler yourself, so it fit in, fit right in. That's pretty cool, man. I'm glad it's making a resurgence. I feel like it's a little long time coming, you know? Like, 
like uh, SNES style games. Like they had their own like little resurgence with um, with like Shovel Knight and stuff. And so I'm I'm I am here for all the the resurgence of low poly games, like modern games made in low poly. Like it's cool. Thanks. I wasn't expecting that to work. <laughs> I think, I mean, I, I might have just had uh, invincibility frames just then, but uh, jumping straight up seems to work. Third swipe, yep. You see that that I'm not good at when he's just like when I'm like running. Trying to run away from it. Oh, cool. I didn't know that was gonna kill me. I ran into his opposite hand. Just running, trying to trying to run. This fight took you a while to beat. No! Oh, ah! Well, now what? Hey, as long as this doesn't take me as long as the Mizar fight did in Jet Force Gemini, I'm fine. Or, uh, you weren't for- I don't think you were there for that, but I played Goldeneye 007, um, uh, like a couple weeks ago, and one of the levels took me two and a half streams to beat, because I was playing on the maximum difficulty. Another good thing for the, uh, for the VODs. Though I think those VODs have gone off of Twitch by now, um, but those are definitely uploading to YouTube. That was a, that was a good, that was a really good playthrough. I had a lot of fun with it, as uh, frustrating as it sounds. I have a uh, Banjo-Kazooie waiting in the wings. It's coming soon. It's coming real soon. It's staring at me right now, my copy of Pancho Kazooie. I'm waiting though. Never played that one, but it seems popular. Oh yeah. It's one of the most popular N64 games. Uh, and one of the best. And one of my favorites. I'm excited to play it, but I'm waiting. Uh, I have one more component that I want to get for my stream that I'm hoping will make my video look a little cleaner. Um, I mean, heck, it's N64 games. There's going to be some kind of crust to them, but like... Um, wow, that doesn't... Um... But it's it's a it's called a retro tink. It's a video pass through device that's uh, that displays my N64 through a native S video re uh, resolution into uh, HDMI with zero lag. Because right now I'm just using a really cheap like twenty five dollar. HDMI converter for the N64. It's real cheap. Um, I don't expect this retro tink to make that big of a difference. Um, 
but it's going to be more of a quality of life improvement for myself. I'm going to get it here in a week or two. Was that it? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, Gex, you got him. He's still wisecracking to the end. Gex, your tail already kicked his butt. Is this showing me all the hidden remotes? I got most of them, if not all of them. I did it! Nice! So coming up next um, is... Uh, I'm going to do Aiden Chronicles, the first mage. Never played it. I've always heard a lot about it. Um, I'm guessing it's an RPG. Or an adventure game of some sort. So, um, we're gonna see how it is. I'm gonna switch over now. I'm gonna throw a BRB here real quick, but I'm actually not going anywhere. I'm just just so I don't have a black screen.